welcome to another Jim Maney Talks Chelsea. Hello and welcome to another Glen Maney Talks Chelsea and I just thought I'd do a quick one about some of the players that we're supposedly interested in. I've read Matt Law in the Telegraph this morning and I've also read The Athletic and Football London and uh, it seems that Jules Kunde is an absolute slam dunker to come in and, um, and play on the right hand side of... Uh, or, or yeah, right hand side really of the centre of defence. You can also play it right back as well if push comes to shove. My only concern with him is his physical presence. His timing's good, but um, he's not the biggest. He's not the biggest of centre halves. And um, that's my slight concern with him. But then again, taking over from Christensen and the old powder puff, so uh, I can't see uh, <laughs> that it's going to be as bad as I, uh, as I envisage. So it looks like we're going to lose Christensen, Rudiger, possibly Aspie, possibly Alonso, possibly Jorginho, possibly Pulisic, possibly Werner, and we've got no chance of getting rid of Lukaku because of his wages. So who's going to come in and who's being mentioned? Well, according to all those sources, is it Josco Gavidal? 20-year-old Leipzig centre-half. He's left-footed and um, only 20 years old. Very, very highly rated. A lot of clubs in for him. United sort of circling. Leipzig, I don't think, really want to sell. But they reckon 40, 50 million will get him because Leipzig are a selling club. And uh, obviously, if he had a chance to join... Well, the current European champions still, um, either them or Tottenham or uh, or Man United. Where are you going to go? This Man United kudos, biggest club in the world, is it pales into insignificance when uh, when you look. They've not even qualified for the Champions League, and they're in the uh, they're in the uh, well. I can't go. I can't be too derogatory of the Europa league because because uh, I was happy when we won it but um, it's nowhere near Champions League level is it let's face it it's also gutted when Rangers lost it I'll be honest Declan Rice he's still this still keeps rising itself I personally think it'll be not next season you know not this transfer window but maybe the season after because they want 150 million quid for him is Declan Rice worth 150 million quid I don't think any player is really, but uh, I suppose it depends if we if we lose Jorginho or not. If we get fifty million for for Jorginho, fifty for Pulisic, fifty for Werner, then why not reinvest it in Rice? That's what I say. But uh, yeah, this uh, is it. Chukamini. He looks like he's going to Real Madrid, so that's a that's a no goer. Then we've got another one we're interested in, uh, but a forward is Christopher, is it Nakunku? Kanuku? I'm terrible with names, and I? But uh, it sounds like, uh, remember uh, Vic Rees, be far for. Anyway, Nakaku. He's, uh, he's at Leipzig, he's only 24, he's just got the Bundesliga player of the year, but he's got 31 goals in 94 games. That, that sort of... That sort of sounds like another Pulisic Werner type situation, but yeah, we're interested in him apparently. But then so are the usual suspects: um, United, Tottenham, Newcastle. Uh, at the back, a couple of interesting names: Paul Torres and one for me. I'd like to sign, to sign Jose Jimenez from uh, Atletico Madrid. And it looks like he'd be open to coming to us. If uh, Atletico will sell, I'd love I'd love to see him. He's right sided, isn't he, as well though. So, but he can play in the middle. So, I mean, let's face it, Thiago Silva. He's going to be 38 next season. He's going to be 39 the season after. So that would be a good signing. And now here's one for you. This will be an interesting topic for conversation. Raheem Sterling only got a season left on his contract. Doesn't look like he's going to re-sign for Manchester City. 
So he's either going to go for a free season after next, or he's going to go quite cheaply this summer. I would have Raheem Sterling every day of the week and twice on Sunday. What about you? I think he's better than Pulisic. I think he's better than Werner. I think he's better than Ziyech. I think he's better than Callum hudson Adoy. I would have him. If he was going for, say, 50 million, I'd snap their hand off. What do you think? And what do you think about the players I've mentioned? Who would you like to see come in? And Because uh, I've said before, this vanity project is over now. Roman's gone. This is going to be run like a business. But at the end of the day, we do need to compete at the highest level for those mugs to get their money back or get a chance of getting their money back. So they've got to invest. And this transfer window, they're going to have to invest quite heavily. Let me know what you think. Thanks for supporting the channel. Please subscribe. Up to Chelsea.